Hey everyone! So today I have a fun tag video for you and I'm going to be doing the um, fat, curvy, plus size big girl tag and I got this from Glow Pinksta, um, Gloria. Uh, she's not going to know that I got this from her because she's way above me YouTube wise and she's too cool to know that I got this from her but thank you Gloria. Um, you're a big inspiration to me and you are the reason that I'm going to do this tag. Um, so anyway, let's get started. First question for this tag is what do you classify yourself as? For example, Curvy, fat, thick, plus size, heavy, ample, or fat, pretty hot, and tempting. I feel like this one is a difficult question for me just because I don't want to sound conceited. Um, I will just say plus size because I, I am plus size. I'm plus size all over. I got, I got huge boobs. I have huge hips. I have big thighs. Like, I'm just all over just plus size because that's what I am. Um, I don't want to sugarcoat it. I don't think it's bad to consider yourself curvy or thick because I would consider myself curvy as well, but at the end of the day, I know that I'm fat, I'm plus size, but I'm learning to embrace it and I am actually working to make it better so it's not like I'm sitting around and not doing anything about it. The next question is, is what is your body shape? For example, hourglass, spoon, rectangle, triangle, pear, or apple? Um, I would have to say I do have more of an hourglass shape because I'm fairly wide up top and then actually it's very slight. My hourglass has a lot of extra sand in it. Um, I go in at the waist, not a huge noticeable amount, but then my hips are again wider than my waist is. So I would consider myself um, an hourglass or somewhere between an hourglass and a pear, but like my shoulders and my hips are about the same width. It's just slightly smaller in the middle. So I actually quite like my shape and I'm hoping that once I, when I do or when I was a little um, less heavy, I actually carried my weight very well. I'm very proportionate. I would think, I think I'm proportionate. Um, but I think once I start to lose weight that hourglass will become a little more defined. So I'm actually really excited for that. Okay, the next question is, are you comfortable or happy at your current size? What is your positive as a plus size person? Um, I would say I'm comfortable at my size, but I'm not happy about my size. Um, I'm comfortable with my size because no matter what size I am, my body is amazing. My body does amazing things every day. It carries me through this life and it keeps me going. And I think that's something that everybody plus size, petite, tall, short, skinny, fat, whatever you want to call it. I think that's something that everyone, if everyone came to terms to, um, would help a lot with people's self-esteem. My body is amazing. It may not look like your body and it may carry a little more weight than I would like it to, but it is that doesn't take away from the fact that it, my body is still a miracle, a working miracle, and it does things every day that we cannot even fathom, basically. I have to say my one positive as a plus size person is I've being plus size my whole life or being fat or heavy or my whole life I've really kind of learned to brush off and not really care um, when people are talking about me because I know that they're going to do it anyway so I feel like that's kind of being a bigger girl has given me a little bit of a thicker skin because I know it's going to happen anyway. And I think being a plus size girl has also given me um, a sense of humor about myself. So I mean, if you can't love yourself or if you can't make fun of yourself, how the hell are you going to make fun of somebody else? So I think that's definitely one positive that being a bigger girl has given me is I'm very comfortable in my skin. I know you're going to talk about me and I know you're going to make fun of me and I'm okay with that because... I can't control what you're doing, but I can be the bigger bigger person, literally and figuratively, and turn the other cheek or laugh at yourself. What's the point in life? The next question is, would you like to lose weight, and if so, how much? What is your negative as a plus size person? Yes, I would like to lose weight. I am trying to lose weight. Um, but I don't want to say how much weight I want to lose. 
Um, I don't want to be defined by a number or by how much weight that I have lost. Defining myself by the number has taken me, taken me to darker places in the past and I don't want to get back to being obsessed with seeing a certain number on the scale and being obsessed with being a certain number on the scale. I am more than a number. I want to lose weight but I mainly just want to be healthy. If I was to only lose 30 pounds, but if I'm perfectly healthy, I'll be happy. I don't think I need to quantify how much I want to lose with a number. I want to lose weight until I'm even more comfortable with myself, and I want to lose weight just to make myself a better, to be a better version of myself, not to be skinny. Um, I'd have to say my negative as a plus size person is that I'd have to say my negative as a plus size, I have to really think about this one, I'm sorry, <laughs> not to like be conceited, but um, I'd have to say my negative as a plus size person is as comfortable as I am with myself, I can also be, um, I'm my own worst critic as well. Um, I'm very harsh on myself and I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm, um, I criticize myself a lot and I second guess myself a lot when it comes to everything, whether it's how I look in an outfit, what I'm buying, or whether it's just going to the gym and feeling like out of place. Um, I criticize and I talk down to myself a lot and that's something that I'm working on to turn into a positive, um, but I think that's something that a lot of people just struggle with, not necessarily just plus size or bigger girls. What is a fat thing that you do and think is funny? For example, breathe heavy or sweat profusely. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but I take very unflattering pictures of myself from like this angle, so it looks like I have a million chins. Um, but I will take very unflattering pictures that way and send them to my friends or Snapchat them to people. Um, and I just, I think it's funny because it's just me looking like probably my absolute the worst that I possibly ever could because I know right sitting here right now that I have two chins but when I do that I have like 17 um, and I don't know why I just think it's funny um, it's absolutely hilarious and I'm not gonna say what it reminds me of or what I caption the snaps as because that might get me into trouble with some copyright issues I'll just say it does deals with a child pageant star. What is your plus size pet peeve? I have to say my plus size pet peeve is that there is absolutely no continuity when it comes to plus sizes. You can be a 16 at one store and be a like 18 at another store and you can't like it's so hard to, to shop for clothes online because what fits me at this store, whether it's an extra large or a 2X or a large, whatever, is not going to necessarily fit me at this store. Everyone has different ideas of what like an extra large is and it pisses me off <laughs> so much because I can buy an extra large from one store and it fits perfectly and then I can buy an extra large from another store and it looks like my like boobs are trying to escape through my shirt and it's like shows all my rolls and it's absolutely terrible and I hate that because it means I have to try everything on and I hate getting undressed and trying everything on at stores because then I start to get hot which I guess is another kind of fat girl plus size curvy girl thing because then I start to sweat I hate trying clothes on too so I hate that there's no size continuity and I hate trying clothes on because you never know also what's going to be flattering and what's going to be unflattering Give a plus size tip. Um, this is saying like deodorant increases, angling the camera for a certain way to appear slimmer. I'm not going to give you any of that because people on YouTube have been doing that for a long time. I, my plus size tip is I'm going to tell you to be absolutely comfortable being who you are and in the body that you are in right now. If you hate your body and you're trying to lose weight so that you will love your body, if you don't love your body at the current state that it's in when it's skinnier you're not you're still not going to love it you need to love and embrace yourself at this moment being who you are and looking the way that you do 
because if you don't love yourself right now, you're not going to grow to love yourself just because your size and your waistline is getting smaller. Um, and that's something that it has taken me a while to learn, and it's something that I try and live my life by, and um, I think that's the best piece of advice I can give you, is be comfortable being who you are right now, be comfortable in what you look like right now, and work out and lose weight because you want to be a better version of yourself and because you want to be healthy, not because you want to be a certain size or not because you want to be skinny. That's all for today. Uh, if you like these type of like tag videos, I know I had fun doing it um, and I know this is something that a lot of people my age kind of struggle with and I know that's something that a lot of people have struggled with in the past, present, future, whatever. Um, but anyway, if you like these sort of like tag videos, let me know down below what other tag videos I should do. I really did enjoy this one because it is something that I am quite passionate about. Um, because if you don't, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen? Okay, I'm gonna stop being Mama Roo right now. Um, but I think being body positive is the best thing that you can do for yourself. So I loved this tag. And if you want to see more like this, just give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Um, as always, I have a As always, I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye.